This is by far one of the wildest car track combinations I have seen on iRacing. Arca at Langley Speedway. It's gonna be death. It's gonna be chaos. It's gonna be tempers flaring. And why may you ask? This is a third gear, low grip setup at a track smaller than a paper club. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and jump into the concept. I'm just expecting a stack up on lap number one. I don't see any way we do not get a stack up on lap number one. Someone's gonna get punted. I just want to keep this thing out of trouble, man. Pace score is about to be in for the one and final time here today. 55 laps. The leader is already off. Let's put it up a third gear. Token by the number 13. Outside is traveling pretty good. I know everyone's going to send it in pretty deep. I'm very careful. That 17 made a pass on there on the apron. Guys behind me are getting pretty wild. We obviously need to find a way down to the bottom groove. Right now, we're not quite getting down there. This 13 is not moving on the outside. We are dropping to the back because of this. I'm going to hop in right behind this number 6. So we drop some positions on lap number 1. Here comes the number 12 a deep dive bomb just trying to find my way down to the bottom here we go we finally have found our way down there unfortunately we're running in position number 16 but look at the traffic jam in front of me man somebody's gonna get punted somebody's gonna lose it oh boy he's loose he's sideways he's hustling man that's what it's gonna be all day here today it's so easy to step over that edge Almost a crash there in front of us, but so far, it has been a very, very clean race. Respect to everyone in the field, because these cars are hard to drive this week. This is definitely the most challenged I have been in an ARCA car. Whoa, here we go. Car into the wall. Car into the wall. He's going to hold it. You see how quick everyone was to gather it up, and we got a car getting turned up front. Here we go. It's a stack up in the ARCA division. We're going to have a days of thunder this one. Hopefully, we can find our way around. Definitely picked up a handful of positions, trying to make a pass on the outside of that number 17. I think he's going to hold it so we're gonna stick in behind his back bumper definitely not getting locked on the outside someone just got punted up there in front of me man whoa boy 17 almost took out the number 18 trying to make a pass on the 17 to his bottom groove man i think we're gonna get there and i think we're gonna get that pass done car up out of the groove up front that's gonna be the number 13 car and we're gonna get around the 17 we got a car in the grass up there trying to merge his way back up onto the track are we inside the top 10 my goodness the 17 nearly rear-ended me we gotta get away from him boys we gotta take off here car into the wall that would be the number 18 that just snagged it. Oh, he just got it even harder that time, man. You definitely don't want to beat these cars up. We're so fortunate to have a clean car right now compared to most of the field. Here we come to his inside. I think he's probably going to roll over pretty easy. No, he's going to fight me for it. He's not going to go down easy. So it's going to be very difficult to get this pass completed. But having the preferred groove, we're going to take over the 12th position on lap number 10. But look at how much he's pinning me down. We're all but on the apron. But we're going to clear him and get that spot. We got another stack up up front. Big spinner, man. Don't come back up, man. Don't come back up. We're going to go around the number two car. He was running into the seventh position. Put us up to P11. This track is getting pretty smoky. There's a yellow cone on the front straightaway. I'm watching this battle in front of me the past couple of laps. They have been getting pretty wild. Did he just get turned up there? Big contact. I think they may be taking each other out. Oh, he's into the wall. Into the wall hard. He's going to be going around. He will save it after losing a handful of positions. We got a slow car up front. We got another spinner down the front straightaway. Oh my god. Whoa, bro. What are you doing, man? My gosh, he was running in the fourth position. Nearly killed everyone. They're stacking up behind me. Bro, you can't go the wrong way. That's the thing about this top split racing, man. Nobody wants to get off the track. They'll ruin everyone else's day before they get off the track. I think you're a dude. Ah, yo, he got me. So after that cluster, we are officially inside the top 10. Oh, 12 is going around. He's going to save it right there ahead of me. Oh, man. Hold on to her, bud. Hold on to her. He's going around, bud. He's drifting. He's drifting her. I don't think he's going to be able to get away with that too long, and we can't get held up battling this guy. We can't really waste much time with him. I think we got to find a way around that number 12, so let's hope he'll open up that door because it's going to be hard to get that pass done. Whoa, he's sideways again. This might be an opportunity to get to his back bumper. As we're nearly there, just trying to apply a little bit of pressure. If I can just get him to overdrive it slightly, man, the door will be opened. I got a lap car behind me. That's Jilly Stone behind me, man. To my back bumper. He's currently one lap down. Try not to hold him up too much here. But at the same time, I'm trying to get this position up ahead, man. Really trying to get this position. This will be for ninth. I know I'm being held up so much, I just can't find my way around this guy. 
I mean, I'm searching for grip down here on the bottom. Oh, man, not what I wanted, not what I wanted. That's why you don't step over that edge, man. Of 27 remaining. They're stacking them up up front. Here we go, boys. Oh, this is going to be big. Please don't turn around. He did get off the track. I think that may be a couple positions here. We got a slow car with the number two down low. I believe he does have quite a bit of damage on that car. His tire may be knocked off, but we're going to easily go around him on the outside. He's going to try the apron again. It's not going to quite work for him. This may be a passing opportunity if we can get to his inside right here. We're going to almost get there, but he's going to definitely hog that bottom and send it in very deep. I would imagine there's a chance he may overdrive it right here. We may be able to take him on the outside. Guy behind me is on the lead lap. I got a plan. I'm going to let the number one buy who's running in the fourth position. Glue to his back bumper. Wait for the 17 to roll over and take the position from the 17. Now I got to stay close to that number one. But it doesn't look like the 17 wants to give it to him. He's up the hill right there. He's going to try to give it to him this time by. Whoa, whoa. They're wrecking each other. Three wide. Crash behind me. The 17 just took out a lead lap car. Sorry about that one. I tried everything I could to get out of the way and let you go. We got a car stopped up high, so obviously they're not done wrecking yet. Oh, we got a smoke cloud, man. Please don't turn her back around. We got a couple cars wrecking down the front straightaway, man. I don't know how many positions we gained off that, but it's still getting wild around here. Oh, they're door slamming each other ahead of me, man. Getting very racy. The third position is racing a lapped car that is not getting out of the way. That would be the number 18 car. We've seen the 18 get into some trouble earlier with some lead lap cars, and he may have just got punted, and they're wrecking each other again. My goodness, this 18 is making so many enemies here today. Whoa, man, to his back bumper. We got to get away from this guy. He's looking dangerous, man. Very dangerous. I just want to get around him and be done with it. I just know he's going to race me. Even though he's multiple laps down, we have seen him get into a lot of drama and chaos already. He's hanging on to my door. Just not wanting to roll over. We're going to get around him. He might race the 15 car behind me. I know the 10 is going to have trouble getting around the 18 because the 18 is going to chop him. My goodness, the 18 is so scary, man. We're going to try to get to his inside. No, I'm just going to stay behind him, man. I'm not going to try to pass this guy. Too big of a danger this late into it, man. We are under five laps remaining. Whoa, 18 might be going around. Bro, bro, bro. Oh, man. I think that might be wrecking behind me. He is wrecking behind me. Next time by will be the white flag holding up in ninth. Will there be any final lap crashes? We got a slow car ahead. Oh, man. It's a smoke cloud in turn number one and two. I think everyone's off the track. Everyone is off the track currently. I believe that's the 18 car stopped on the bottom groove. Oh, man. He's about to get some more competitors here. White flag this time by... Jeez, what was this race, man? I feel like I'm driving up tank here today, man. 15 cars behind me. I think we are going to hold this position. Let's just cruise it through turn number three and four for the final time. I think today was a pretty successful day. He's to my back bumper, but it's not going to be enough as we're going to throttle up off turn number four. There we go. Top 10, boys. Held on to it. I'm sure tempers are beyond flaring. We're probably going to have some post-race fights. What do you guys think about that one? I'd like to thank my Patreon members who I go iRacing with on Thursday night. The schedule is on the screen now. As well as I'd like to thank my Patreon VIP members. So special thanks to CHDV, Joshua Kane, Sanquez Gregory, and Timothy Stubblefield for supporting the channel. Hope you all have a great week, everyone, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.